Hello guys and welcome to the second video of Blacksmithing, Master Hakir here. So today, like I said, we're going to be learning a little bit about what to do with that steel that we made, what do we do with that hard case uh, steel ingot, and sorry, hardened steel ingot, and some other details. Uh, I already prepared all blueberries, I don't know why, it seems that they changed it in the last update. Now the Harden and the Steel, the Tothsen and the Harden Iron Ingots will react at 2000, not anymore at 1500. But it's a little detail. What I want you to notice here is what I've done. Uh, I needed to heat this up, uh, the Tothsen and the Steel, just to show you guys. But I still put iron anyways, because heating one bar and heating all of the bars together takes the same amount of time. Uh, I eventually already set up my rock salt that heats up right away so after we finish this i'm just gonna add rock salt and get more steel case okay so that's just to save time so we smelt it the first thing is like we're gonna smelt it into iron ingot uh thousand iron bar ingot yes so you know this is yellow And now we're going to smelt the steel. Now for the steel, I'm supposed to smelt, smelt it as well into lumps, but I already have lumps, so we're just going to go ahead with what we need, which is the bar. Notice that a little different color than the regular bars. They're more grayish, like more silverish. Okay, and uh, let me show you, just so we save time, like I was saying to you, you can do this, okay? You wait a little or you just disturb it, and you see, it's ready to be produced. I'm, I'm obviously not going to produce all of them, it's, it's just so you guys see that it can be made, okay? And you see, so we can make some, okay. Now, once you got all of your materials, manage furnace, we need to light it up. Yep, and we forge. Okay, so, with our tough, toughen iron bar, what we're gonna be doing is what I told you, it's locks, yeah? It's just so you see how they're made, yeah? Not really what we want. Yeah, so that's how locks are made. Now, for the rest, let me grab what I need of steel, like we talked before. There, there they are. Notice all qualities, they came out 76. I forgot to, to show you the steel, but it was the same quality. So we're in our 70s, yeah? And now we're going to be doing some steel stuff. Okay, so what can we do with steel? We could do nails of higher quality, but I think all of you know why I'm not gonna do it, okay? Uh, with steel, you can do your blacksmith hammer if you have an ingot, okay? But we came here, let's say, to do carpenter toolkit, okay? Notice they're quite expensive, they're four and four. Yes, but what do we wanna see here? This is what we can see, look, see, 80. Even when my steel was 74. My handle did increase a little bit the quality, but not that much, it's 89. Okay, you can do certain other things, obviously Julius toolkit. Yeah, we came to do this as well. I need it. This is actually stuff that I need. This is why I chose to do this instead of the Weavers. Um, the other thing that I show you, that I want to show you, that you can make. Ah, yes, obviously. We we want to check. I already know, but you always check. That's coming out with quality 80. Yes. 
Notice the skinny knife, it requires a common bar. The sickle, but it's not really useful. But this is what I wanted to do, to show you with the lumps. Because you guys couldn't need them, and they're quite useful. So it's the knives. I'm gonna be leaving one of each uh, in your storage, yeah? So we have 80 knives, yeah? So that's what I wanted you guys to see, how the quality increases when you are actually using um, steel instead of iron. We can double test it, like I can remind you just something already done, yeah? Have, like always me, being me, a little bit of lumps, yeah? And we're gonna have to toss this back in because otherwise it's gonna do it with a lump. So remember, when you use steel, when you use iron, I'm sorry, regardless of the quality, they come 60, you see? Even when the lamps, they were 91, and I want you to pay close attention. Before I leave, I want to leave you with a warning, uh, remind you of a warning, and I leave you with a warning that happens to me for being distracted quite a lot, but fortunately, uh, I never lost anything is that when you're overburned, yeah, it will still uh, smell out of the case, out of, out of the blueberries or whatever you're doing, and it will drop to the floor. So I want you guys to, before you leave, always check for bags underneath the blueberry and underneath the black meat shop because you might end up dropping, okay? I don't know if I'm overburned. No, no, it's gonna take forever, so we, I can show you. But always check, because that have happened to me several times, I always double check, okay? And to remind you the warning that these are not all buildings, so you always need to check a durability before you start working. I do this not when you guys are watching, but I always check durability. Okay, thank you so much, and see you in the next video.